Hey bestie, welcome back to another tutorial here on my channel. Y'all hear that in my voice? I finally got over my infection, y'all. That sinus infection, this pollen has been kicking my ass, okay? But in this tutorial, we are doing this double puff hairstyle okay now i don't usually do too many like pigtails double puff hairstyle because i i just feel like it looks too kitty but i must say i look good <laughs> i look good so i'm gonna show you how i achieve this look through this video all right let's get into it okay let's go ahead and start it out with freshly washed hair but before i go any further if you are new to our channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button right below this video come join the family we would love to have you and to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey mama hey friend hope you are being safe and blessed as always so i'm starting off with a middle part of course because we are doing a double puff style so we are going to part this straight down the middle and try to make your part as straight as possible i'm not the best at making the straightest parts but i try my best okay i'm then going to go in with my pretty strands leave-in conditioner really love this stuff mainly because of the size of that bottle okay because i use a lot of leave-in conditioner and then i'm going to go in with the my l curl smoothie as my moisturizer and i went in with a couple of pumps at first and then I go in and add some more because I like to make sure my hair is nice and moisturized okay and then with my hair growing in length I, I have to readjust you know how much product I put in my hair so now I'm going to start off by parting a small section in the front and we are going to create two flat twists in this small section okay so we're going to make sure this is nice and parallel to the forehead because we don't want no slanted or crooked flat twists so try to make this as parallel as possible and I am doing it right before or, you know you get to my ear like right there is where it's going to end going in with my shine effects conditioning gel y'all know i love this stuff if you are new, new to my channel honey i love this stuff use it in every hairstyle and then we're going to go ahead and divide that into two and we're going to start by flat twisting at our first section now i'm detangling real quick because i haven't done that I, I just washed it we're, we're gonna detangle it as we go okay and I'm adding a little bit more gel because you know I gotta lay down my widow speak I have a terrible widow speak I cut her off she comes right back the next day I just let her hang out at this point because there's just no point in fighting her anymore and I'm just taking my time by flat twisting my hair flat twisting has got to be the easiest thing I promise you it's so easy I know it looks like it can be more complicated but it, it really is not and don't worry in the next clip I'm gonna slow Slow it down for you and give you a closer up view of how I do my flat twists. I don't like explaining what I'm doing because I feel like I just confuse people even more. So I just decided to take a, a pause and let you just see what I'm doing. So back to our schedule programming. So once we do that, now I decide to add, I decided to add these beads, okay? L let's ignore that, you know, for right now. I mean, I, I don't know why I added the beads. Those are definitely made me look like a 13 year old. I was not feeling them. So I did end up removing those, but for, you know, which, I added beads if you you think the beads are cute keep them i did not i removed them so now it's time to work on the back half of the hair so i'm going to section this into three more sections this is going to help me get a nice sleek ponytail as well as the tangle because like i mentioned before i did not detangle my hair i'm going in with my tangle teaser i love that brush it's my favorite brush to use for detangling my hair my girl's hair all that good stuff now i'm going in with my gel make sure we brush down them beady beads okay we do not want no dirty kitchen in the back she need to be nice neat and clean okay we're not gonna have the front looking good and then you turn around and it's like honey where the brush did, did the brush disappear when you got to the back of your head so let's make sure we we clean up back there so i'm gonna twist that down real quick just to kind of keep it out of my way and then i'm going to work on my second section and then i'm going to detangle that add my gel and pretty much just add it to the ponytail we've already created and as you can see i started at the bottom because i want this to be a, a low hanging ponytail if I want to be like more in the middle I would have started in that middle section if I wanted to be a high pony I would start at that top section you see where I'm going here so pretty much where you start in the the area of your hair is pretty much where your ponytail is going to you know pretty much sit 
right? Okay. Now I have created these three twists and I'm just gonna twist those together and pretty much wrap those down into a bun and secure it with a rubber band. And we were, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to that because now we gotta work on these twists that I did in the front. I was not feeling the beads like I mentioned before. And then I also was not feeling the length. So I decided to take some Marley hair, which is pretty much the same hair we're gonna use when we create our Afro puff in the back. And I'm just adding those to my twists. It's really easy. Like you're literally just twisting the hair into there. It's two strands. Like, I, again, I don't know how to explain these things. So I just prefer you to see what I'm doing because I don't want to confuse anybody. But it's fairly easy and I'm going to uh, twist it all the way down. And then I added the beads back again because maybe I was like, you know, maybe the beads didn't look good because my hair was short. I still didn't like the beads. So, you know, again, but if you like them, go for it, sis. I ain't going to hold you to it. So now I'm going in with my Marley hair. I'm going to cut it in half because I didn't want it that long. And then I'm going to add those two pieces together. Make sure you kind of, you know, don't put the two blunt sides together because it's just going to look awkward. So kind of like mix it up, feather it out, shake it up, all that good stuff. I'm adding a ponytail holder in the middle and this is what it's going to be used to secure it to my bun. And all I'm doing is pretty much adding it upside down and then flip it over. Boom. We have an afro ponytail boo. I'm fluffing it out real quick just to make it look more realistic and then I did add a couple of bobby pins to kind of secure it to my bun because I don't want the wind to like blow it upside down and that's it and this is a finished look she looks good especially after I remove those beads so thank you guys for joining us on a, another tutorial um I was going to make this like a like three hairstyle video but I don't know if y'all really feel though because when those that I post I don't get a whole lot of like interaction with versus the ones where I do like one hairstyle everybody come flocking to see that one hairstyle but when I get like four different looks I get like 10 views and I just like like the math ain't math then. Uh, this year my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel and you can help out by hitting that like button and sharing my videos to all of your social media platforms. Besties, I'm gonna need y'all to follow Shantae.pompon on Instagram as well. And you can purchase this hair that I am using down below in my description box is the link to my Amazon storefront. And when you click on it, you'll see all of our pictures. You, all you have to do is shop the photo. So if this is a hairstyle that you like, it'll have all the products listed that I use as well as the hair and anything else in between, accessories, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for joining us on another video. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.